Making the headlines, understanding a common English phrase. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a very interesting English phrase, make the headlines. This phrase is commonly used in news and media contexts, but it's also found in everyday English conversations. Understanding this phrase will not only enhance your vocabulary but also give you insight into how English speakers use language to express ideas about prominence and importance. Let's dive in. The phrase, make the headlines, refers to gaining significant public attention or being featured prominently in the news. When a person, event, or topic makes the headlines, it means they are considered important enough to be the main story in newspapers, TV news broadcasts, or online news platforms. This phrase emphasizes the noteworthiness or sensational nature of the subject at hand. To better understand how this phrase is used, let's look at some examples. The discovery of water on Mars made the headlines around the world. This sentence suggests that the news was so significant that it was featured as the main story globally. A local hero who saved a family from a burning building made the headlines in our community. Here, the phrase highlights the individual's heroic act as being of great interest and importance to the local community. These examples show how the phrase can be applied to various contexts, from global news to local stories, emphasizing the significance of the events or people involved. Why is it important to understand and use this phrase? Make the headlines is not only about news, it's a way English speakers conceptualize and talk about importance and visibility. Recognizing and using such phrases can enhance your comprehension of English news and media, Improve your ability to express ideas about significance and public attention in English. Help you engage more deeply with English-speaking cultures and their values. I hope this video has helped you understand what it means to make the headlines and how you can use this phrase in your own conversations and writing. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about conveying ideas and emotions. Phrases like this one are key to mastering the art of English communication. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.